I'm Mike, and today, as per request, I'm doing a response to the Women's Health article about how giving up meat might make you go crazy. This has spread like wildfire and been recycled and rejumbled by like 30 different news outlets and is pretty much everywhere right now. And it hinges heavily on the anecdotal evidence of a psychiatrist that makes his money off selling books about how cheeseburgers are actually healthy, and also looks at two studies which are only observational studies looking at a slice of the population, which you'll hear more about in a second. And in a bit, we will get to all the other studies about plant-based diets and how vegetarian diets actually give you a better mental state, looking at randomized control trials as well as observational studies. But first, let's look at the article. They mentioned this Australian study with, quote, vegetarians were 18% more likely to report having depression and 28% more likely to experience panic attacks and anxiety. I'm about to pull this card. Correlation does not equal causation. There are many things that are just categorically different about vegetarians. For example, vegetarians tend to be female more often, and they also have a higher IQ and are from a higher social class. But if you become a vegetarian, you will not automatically be turned into a smart, rich female. Most importantly, there are no studies, including this one, that draw a biological link between giving up meat and depression and anxiety, etc. This is just drawing an association. All right, now let's move on to the German study that they used to back it up. There is so much that is ridiculous about the conclusions drawn from the study. First of all, it only looked at 54 vegetarians. It's like saying, oh, we found 54 vegetarians that were slightly more depressed than the population, so let's prescribe grass-fed meat to every human being. Let's actually look at what the self-reported surveys from the study came up with. Okay, let's look at eating disorders. The non-vegetarians had a 0% current eating disorder rate and a 1.4% lifetime eating disorder rate. This should be a huge red flag given that Western populations have a lifetime binge eating disorder rate between men and women of about 2.5%. And then when you're looking at anorexia and bulimia on top of that, that's about 2% each. I'm seriously starting to think that this is a representation of how vegetarians are more honest than non-vegetarians, but don't take my word for it, wait for the upcoming studies that you're about to see. And oh my god! They can't even spell the word match right. And finally, the scientists don't even seem to believe that there is a causal link between giving up meat and these mental disorders with, quote, Individuals with a history of mental disorder may exhibit more perceived health-oriented behavior in order to positively influence the course of their disease. Moreover, the experience of a mental disorder may sensitize individuals to the suffering of other living beings, including animals. Highlighting again that this is only really just measuring correlation. All right, now let's look to the other side of the picture about how meat can actually be bad for your mental health. Looking to the Adventist vegetarians who are the longest living formerly studied population on earth. 15% of which approximately are vegan. Well, it turns out that they were twice as mentally healthy compared to their non-vegetarian counterparts when looking at things like anxiety, depression, anger, and fatigue. Here are their DASS scores, their depression, anxiety, stress scale, about twice as good as their counterparts. And here are their profile of mood states. Non-vegetarians had about three times worse of mood. But even those are just associations in a snapshot of the population. What happens when you take a group of people, put them on a vegetarian diet, and then measure their depression and anxiety? Here is a randomized control trial where they divided 39 people up into three groups. The first was a control group, the second was a fish diet where the only meat they ate was fish, and the third was a vegetarian diet. Quote, the two week change decline in depression and anxiety stress scores was significantly greater in vegetarian participants compared to omnivore and fish participants. These data suggest that individuals who eliminate meat, fish, and poultry may cope better with mental stress than omnivores. But why might meat make you depressed? The scientists believe that arachidonic acid is one of the main answers because it leads to inflammation of the brain. They say, quote, Research shows that high intakes of arachidonic acid promote changes in brain that can disturb mood, which is why they designed the vegetarian diet to actually be free of eggs since eggs do contain arachidonic acid. The arachidonic acid brain inflammation pathway is highlighted in this study. And this is really compelling stuff. Here's a study that showed that women with higher blood levels of arachidonic acid had a 45% higher suicide risk and were 47% more likely to have depressive episodes. Of course, arachidonic acid is only present in animal products. Looking at this list, you can see that virtually all of them are meat, but eggs are also a high arachidonic acid food. 
leading one to conclude that a vegan diet would be the best to prevent brain inflammation and the subsequent depression. To back that up, here is a study showing the arachidonic acid levels of omnivores, vegetarians, and vegans showing that while vegetarians are pretty low, vegans are actually the lowest. Finally, here is another randomized control trial looking at nearly 300 participants over 10 corporate sites. These are people that were eating a normal diet and then they had them switch over to a plant-based diet as part of like a company program. The results? They specifically report a reduction in depression and anxiety, leading the scientists to point to the opposite conclusion as women's health, saying that giving up meat may be the best measure to reduce depression and anxiety. And that's a before and after that's not just a random slice of the population. All of these things come together to paint a pretty clear picture that giving up meat is not gonna make you insane, crazy, or less mentally healthy. It may be true that if you look at vegetarian people, they happen to be more depressed just because depressed people tend to go and search for solutions. Vegetarianism is a solution for a lot of things like living longer than anybody else. Most importantly, there are no randomized control trials linking the biological effects of giving up meat to a worse mental state. Yet we do have multiple randomized control trials showing the exact opposite that yes, giving up meat can give you a better mental state. The Women's Health article just serves as another way to tell good news about bad habits, exactly what people want to hear. So that way it gets circulated a crap ton around the internet, but in the end, it's really just a response to a torrent of scientific information showing all of the benefits of giving up meat and giving up animal products and living a super long, healthy life. And people in the comments seem to notice that as well, showing an overwhelmingly negative response to the article and its scientific validity as well as its motivations. All right, that's all for today. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment below about what you think about this, and thank you for watching. Oh, fancy that, Jill. Meat causes cancer. Well, I'll tell you what. Give up meat and you'll, you'll go crazy. Yeah, Jill, find a doctor who makes his money off saying that meat keeps you sane and that going vegetarian makes you crazy. And hurry up, I want to eat my Christmas ham guilt free.